Hello, it's Michael Watts here, and today a historically important guitar is going up for auction at the world famous auction house Bonhams in London. It's this beautiful graffiti yellow Fender Stratocaster. But it's no ordinary Strat. It was made by the Fender Custom Shop for the great Jeff Beck and was used extensively by him on tour. What an incredible instrument. I was absolutely thrilled to be invited to view this guitar up close. What an experience. And uh, you can have a look at the video right here. So first of all, huge thanks to Claire Tolmoyer, the head of popular culture at Bonhams. Now, let's take a closer look at this wonderful guitar. The first thing we see is the graffiti yellow finish over the older body. We've got three Fender lace sensor pickups and a Brazilian rosewood fretboard. Very cool. Up at the headstock we see the roller nut, which is so characteristic of the Jeff Beck signature Stratocaster. In fact, I'm not sure that Fender do another model featuring this. I may be wrong. Correct me in the comments if you like. Not that it really matters, but the strings are also pretty much original, except for the toppy, which did snap. That has been replaced, and the original is in the pocket of the case. On the back of the headstock, we see the first generation locking tuners, and the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that the top E has lost its little locking mechanism. Looking back over the body, we see the serial stamp of V016129. Looking into the trem or vibrato cavity, uh, we can see three springs, very cool, arranged in the ever popular sort of triangle uh, stance there, slightly rusty. Uh, we've got some slightly mismatched screws. Apparently Jeff Beck himself just pulled the cover off this and threw it away. Uh, I tended to as well when I played a Strat. Next to the cavity itself, there was a very interesting little routed out bit that had some wiring uh, going off from there. I have no idea what that was. Answers on a postcard, please, or indeed in the comments below. A very powerful moment for me was looking closely at the volume knob and seeing the amount of wear on it from all those beautiful Roy Buchanan style swells, which were such an important part of Jeff Beck's lyrical approach to lead guitar playing. Just wonderful. And here is the Fender Tweed case. Now, I always find these things beautiful. And in this case, we have uh, luggage stickers from various airlines. And here on the handle, we have uh, a little tag saying Jeff Beck. Wow, what an amazing thing. The auction itself begins live on the Bonhams website in just a few moments, and there are some incredible uh, items of memorabilia and musical instruments for sale. I saw some amazing stuff. Terry O'Neill prints, a Frank robot that belonged to Freddie Mercury. So it's not just any Frank, it's Freddie's Frank. What a beautiful thing. Sex Pistols, Beatles, Bob Marley memorabilia, beautiful stuff. Uh, even a painting that was used as a prop in Blackadder. And what more could you wish for? The auction itself is about to start in a few minutes. I thought you might like to join me. I'm going to tune in online. Let's go. Lock. 311, of course, is the lot that we've all been waiting for. <laughs> yes, it is. It is, of course, the important graffiti yellow working prototype Fender Stratocaster guitar mm. made especially for Jeff Beck. So the estimated that value that this will go for is 60 to 80,000 pounds. I put a little uh, shout out on, on my Instagram. Just a few words that I've prepared. It's basically to over 60% think it's going to get over 100,000 pounds. So let's see. It's quite exciting, isn't it? with this instrument and this guitar is the same it was designed hmm. and built by the fender custom shop in the late 1980s the guitar was made yellow so as to match his replica 1932 ford hot rod coupe from the film American obviously Graffiti. <laughs> it can be seen with beck on numerous occasions between 1986 and 1989 and it's embellished with special sample parts. The guitar laid the groundwork for the eventual Jeff Beck signature model. Absolutely right. Although the neck is not quite as large as uh, the actual production uh, it's been model. It's today by the long-haul pilot Susie O'Hara, who was in a relationship with Jeff Beck from 94 to 96. So cast iron, 24 karat gold provenance, mm -hmm. and a wonderful thing to be. So Here we go. It's a pleasure for us to sell this, so thank you if you're tuning in. Thank you very much. 
Lot number 311, there we are. There's interest already on the book. Yeah, I'll bet there is. I shall start the bidding with me now. I'm at £42,000. Oh, we are. The 42,000. The telephones are ready. Gentle start. 42,000. There we go. We'll go first at 45. At 42,000 now I have. At 42,000. 45,000. Thank you. I'm at 48,000. 48 is here. 50,000. I'm at 55,000. It's at 55,000 now. At 55,000 pounds. 55,000, got three telephones. 60,000, you're all too late because internet has taken it at 60. Okay. Thank you, online. 60, they're just nudging the bottom of the estimated value. Internet there at 60,000. Three live telephones. At 60,000 pounds. Where will we go? Joe, are you in or out? At 60,000. Doorway, are you coming in or out? At 60 now. It's still online at 60,000. Claire, at 60,000 then. It feels like we're there. At 60,000. For the guitar, if you're sure, at 60,000 I will sell. It's the final time of asking. If you're happy, at 60,000 then. Fair warning, at 60,000. Sold at 60,000. Well, 60, look at that. A little soft maybe, but... um. Congratulations to uh, everybody involved and uh, in particular to the guitar's new owners. Well, that was an absolute pleasure and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.